I think there are two things that it's very important for any gentleman to know how to do during the holiday season. I'm going to share two of those with you today. One of those is uh, to be able to tie your own bow tie. Um, I, I, I can't imagine wearing a clip-on tie. I actually uh, managed a restaurant here in Nashville for 10 years where it was a requirement if you worked in the dining room that you uh, wore a bow tie and tied it yourself rather than wearing a clip-on. So, and I don't think I ever hired a single person in the 10 years who already knew how to tie a bow tie. So I've probably taught uh, hundreds of people how to tie a bow tie. I've also probably, because I wore a bow tie every night for 10 years, I've probably tied a bow tie over 3,000, well, easily over 3,000 times. So I have a little, I do have a little bit of experience. So I thought, in case you didn't know how, uh, I would share uh, the technique with you. It's pretty simple, actually. It's a little bit like tying your shoes. You, uh, one one end of the tie is hangs down longer than the other one, kind of where the tie starts to uh, get wider. You come back un up underneath and over, and then pull it tight. You fold the shorter end, making the bow, and the longer end goes over, and then comes underneath behind, and through the loop you just created, you pull that through, and voila, it's actually very simple. Uh, and then you just adjust it a little bit. In, in your case, you'll have a mirror. You can look in the mirror and make sure that it looks exactly right. I actually like to make my tie be a little bit, you know, off, because then it's clear that you tied yourself to put one on. So that's, and then the great thing about tying your own bow tie, I'll share with you at the end of this video. The second thing you should know how to do as a gentleman during the holiday season is you ought to know how to, with a plum, open a bottle of champagne. So I thought I might show you a little bit how I open champagne. I've obviously opened a lot of champagne in my life. There's a little ring right here in the wire. I pull that down, put, just pull that through the foil. This is easier, I think easier. Untwist it. And then I remove, I remove the foil and the wire all in one, and the cork all in one piece. Hold the bottom of the bottle, hold the cork, and twi gently twist the bottom, not the cork. Sometimes if you twist the cork, the cork will break off at the top. If you twist the bottle, it won't. And then you want, you don't want, you don't want the champagne or sparkling wine to spew out. You want it to be gentle. Now this one, because this bottle's not cold, I had a little bit more oomph when I opened it. Uh, if it's cold, it won't make that much noise. It'll be a more gentle kind of escape of gas when you open it. I thought about savoring this bottle today, because um, I know everybody always gets excited, excited about savoring champagne. But here's the secret about savoring champagne. Savoring champagne really doesn't have much to do with the savor. Savoring champagne, before, if you notice, if you've ever seen champagne savored, uh, it always spews out all over the place. Well, that's because they shake the hell out of the bottle before they do it. They create a whole lot of pressure inside. The only thing they're really doing with the saber is cutting the wire. So when the wire is cut, the cork comes out because there's so much pressure inside from the bottle having been shook up so much. It does make a kind of a, you know, fantastic display, but then you lose half the champagne on the ground. You really don't want to do that. Uh, so that's a good way to open a bottle of champagne. The big thing is you want to ease the cork out, not have it pop out. And you, it's better not to hit your friend in the eye with it, too, with cork. Uh, so the other thing that's really great about tying your own bow tie is that after you're, you're at the end of the party, on your way home, you get to untie it and unbutton your shirt collar. And then you look like James Bond. Happy Holidays. <laughs>